welcome to my channel again the nomadic lady so if you haven't subscribed yet please like and subscribe to my channel and uh, to, for today's blog I'm going to talk about the caregiver questions because I receive a lot of questions for this past few months actually but I was so busy and have some health issues that's why I haven't uh, been to blogging yet so but right now like i i'm i i feel really good now so uh i'm starting to do my blog again so um i receive a lot of questions about on how to come here in canada as a caregiver um what are those requirements actually with my first blog on how i came here to canada and the second one that the pros and cons here in canada so i'll just do um let's say i'm going to read uh, one by one i'll just try my best if i could read all of your comments guys but um and also i'm speaking english because i have some um viewers here who does speak english and uh they actually really asked me if i could just speak english so they could understand as well right so but anyway if it's like tagalog or bisaya um like you know some other who asked me questions here in uh, part in tagalog or in bisaya then i can answer you with that uh, question okay let's start with um raquel bonbon Okay, she says, Maganda sana sa Canada. You can bring your family. Happy for you, sis. Watching here, caregiver from Israel. Super blessed kapag sobrang bait ng amo. God bless, sis. sis. Salute to all caregivers. Wow. Thank you, Ate Raquel. Um, yeah, uh, actually, guys, maganda din yung caregivers sa Israel. I, I've heard a lot about um, Israel. Maraming caregivers na galing din ng Israel na nandito na ngayon. May kakilala akong galing din from Israel. Maganda din si Israel. Tsaka malaki din yung sahod. So, uh, like, for example, if you wanna come here and then you need, you know, um, experience, Israel is um, is a good st stepping stone, actually. Okay, and then who else? Okay, Julian from Julian Mariano. Um, Ma'am, baka naman may ma-recommend kayo to help us also para makapag-apply din as caregiver also. So actually kasi if I just uh, have a employer here na naghahanap, right? ng uh, caregiver of course I could recommend like ang dami nyo, ang dami actually dun, bukod pa dun sa mga kakilala ko but as of now, um, right now I don't have any employers na kilala para mag uh, um, I mean para ma-recommend ko kayo and I am not also an agency, and kaya hindi ko rin, um, wala din akong, uh, let's say, like, um, any knowledge to who, to do those things and recommend you to anyone na nangangailangan. But if ever meron man, so why not, right? And then, who else? Um, from Only Ali. More blogs po about being a caregiver in Canada. Oh, so hi, only Ali. Yeah, I'm doing right now your uh, your request. Okay, and then who else? Oh, let's see. Um, hi po at the new sabi po here. Sana ako din po makapag-work din po jan. Kaya lang on process pa lang po. E kako and dito po ako sa Macau. Hi Leia. So ano, tease tis lang. Kaya mo 'yan. Um madali lang yang eka, magantay ka lang. Darating din darating ka din diyan. Um what else? Okay, from Erlin Silcock. Ano po name ng agency niyo? Thank you po. Hi po. Um tanong ko lang po kung aling uh, agency kasi marami din pong nagtatanong kung saang agency po ako nag-apply. Um, hindi po ako nag-apply from Philippines. So, kung bas kung na, na, na panood nyo po yung uh, blog ko before, yung how did I came here in Canada, malalaman nyo po kung saang agency po ako nag-apply or agent. Anyway, next. Um, okay, hello. Hello po ma'am. Have a blessed day to you. Tanong ko lang po 
pareho lang ba equivalent ng 72 units or 72 hours? Yun kasi nakalagay sa TOR namin for 72 hours po. Maraming salamat po. Hello po, um, Jonas Otlam. Um, I'm not sure po about the 72 units and 72 hours kasi magkaiba po yung units at hours. Right? So, um, um, let's say kasi yung education kasi dito sa 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 Canada is um, iba yung um, equivalent niya sa Pilipinas. Let's say in, Pili in Philippines, um, gumraduate ka ng um, high school Oh no, I mean, let's say, naka-72 units ka, or second year college. I think, yeah, it's, it's equivalent second year college in the Philippines. Then, um, uh, I think, pasok ka dun sa requirements na yun. Pero, dadaan ka pa rin muna dun sa, uh, yung merong WES, merong ICAS, at saka ICAS, uh, ICAS, at saka ICA. I mean, sorry. Okay. So, dadaan ka sa mga ganong uh, proseso na i-assess nila yung uh, uh, educational attainment mo. So, sila yung makapagsasabi kung um, yung, yung uh, educational uh, attainment mo or yung um, units or yung 72 hours na sinasabi mo ay uh, uh, equivalent ba sa high school graduate ng Uh, Canada education okay so next uh, cucumber amber thanks for sharing this idea very informative yeah thank you you're welcome I mean and then salute to all caregiver abroad from Lori Lee Vigilia uh, who else okay I am Claudine she says hi sis I'm a nursing grad here in the Philippines I'm 34 years old single mom I don't have any hospital experience because I work in BPO industry. Is there a chance for me to apply as a caregiver there? So, for you, I am Claudine. Um, if you're a, gra a nursing graduate in the Philippines, why don't you had a, um, let's say, like, um, try to have an experience, let's say, like, uh, a year or two, maybe. It's... um. Two years, yeah. That's a good experience if you have, uh, I mean, that's a good thing. It's a, uh, an edge if you had an experience as a caregiver, actually. Kasi, dito sa Canada, importante talaga yung experience. So, they don't care if cum laude ka or magna cum laude ka kung graduate ka ng, ng university or college. As long as, um maganda yung uh, pasok yung pasok ka sa requirements nila ganun dito so uh, so yun may chance ka naman basta lang ano uh, yun lang experience yun yun yung edge mo kung meron ka nun since uh, nursing grad ka and then hello from Binian Unalan Hello po, ma'am. Una sa lahat, I want to say thank you for sharing. Ma'am, I am a college degree and I have a sick friend and he want me to help me and be his caregiver. But I don't have experience and I don't have also certificate of caregiver course. Am I still qualified? And if I can, how can I start it? Okay, here you go. Miss Bimian Unalan. Um... I think una mong gawin if um no um I have to ask you if your friend is Canadian is he able to uh is he able to do a sponsorship for you let's say kung kukunin kanya as his caregiver right so hindi naman kailangan na ng certificate as a caregiver or unless you are you have the 72 units in college which is equivalent to high school um high school graduate here in in canada and then um if alam nang ano if alam nang friend mo it's better it's better for you to ask your friend um to do a research on um cic.ca uh, don't ma, ma 
malalaman niya lahat ng tungkol sa uh, uh, proseso or requirements ng uh, pagpunta ng isang caregiver dito. Which is actually, mas madali na lang siya ngayon kasi um, wala ng LMIA. Um, kasi before, yung sa time ko, meron pang LMIA. But now, nag-change na kasi yung ano nila, yung sa pathway ng requirements. Although, mas malaking expenses din. But anyway, if wala ka namang mga dadalhin ditong let's say, anak or asawa, siguro, it's, ano na, okay lang yun. Kasi, carry mo na yun. So, yun, mag-usap kayo dun sa friend mo, mag makipag-usap ka sa kanya. And then, so, para malaman mo kung uh, able ba siyang mag-sponsor. Yun. And then, uh, what else? Uh, teachers, teacher in charge, what is the name of your agency, ma'am? Hi po, ano po yung agency sa Pilipinas po ba? Kasi wala po akong agency sa Pilipinas. Uh, Cyprus po ako galing. If you watch my vlog before, so sa Cyprus po ako galing. Uh, at doon ko po na kilala yung agent ko po na papunta dito. And then next, Anjanette Cabiliza. Hello po, new subscriber niyo po ako. I also dreamed to go and work there in Canada. Kaya lang, ang current work ko po dito sa Pinas is teacher. Naisip ko po na mag-apply as caregiver dyan. Po, ano po sa tingin niyo ma'am? To Miss Anjanette Cabiliza, I think mukhang okay naman yata ngayon yung, yung sahod ng mga teachers sa Pilipinas, right? So, well, anyway, you hope, you know, if you dream of coming to here to Canada, why not? Anyway, everybody can come here if, he, if they want to. So, um, pwede naman po. Pwede naman po kahit teacher ka sa Pilipinas, pwede ka din naman po mag-caregiver. Kasi, um, ano naman yun eh, um, parang, um, kahit wala kang training, pero kung sana, mayroon kang experience. Yung nga sa sinabi ko, at least one to two, year, ex, two years experience, uh, it's uh, better, much better po yun. Depende na lang po kung may kakilala ka nga na andito. And, uh, yun, yung ano mo naman is um, uh, college degree ka naman so uh, I think pasok ka naman sa criteria I mean requirements so depende po yun sa inyo ma'am Anjanette kung kaya mo po bang iwan ang pagiging teacher mo at mag-alaga po dito ng matanda or magnanani ng mga bata, it's all up to you ma'am so uh, to ito, sino ba to Merbs Polo Sport um, Ate, ask ko lang po if my requirement po sa height sa lalaki 5'4 lang po kasi ako gusto ko pong mag caregiver dyan salamat po, God bless ate antayin ko po ang respond nyo oh that's a good question Merbs uh, Merbs Polo Sport wala pong height limit dito sa mga caregiver, magpalalaki man o babae. Actually po, ako ay 4'11 lamang. <laughs> Maliit po akong babae. Pero, <laughs> kaya ko pong magbuhat. <laughs> kaya ko pong buhatin ang lola ko. Kaya lang ngayon, medyo masakat na ang mga buto-buto. Kaya medyo, anyway, mobile pa naman yung lola ko. And then, um, what else? Uh, sis, anong agency mo po sa Pinas from Vilinda, Filipinas? Wala po akong, sa so ulitin ko po, wala po akong agency sa Pilipinas. Yun, um, Raymart's The Adventure, pwede ba ang lalaki mag-apply as caregiver? Hi, Raymart's The Adventure, yes po, pwede pong mag-apply as caregiver ang lalaki as long as kung ano man po yung hinahanap ng ating employer. If yung employer po natin ay gusto ng Uh, male or female sila po yung uh, sila po yung masusunod so if they ask for a male so yun po, pwede po kayong mag-apply nun um, what else hi po new subscriber here ano, anong name ng agency nyo po it's from Divine Burai hi Divine Burai uh, ulitin ko lang din po, wala po akong agency sa Pilipinas, Cyprus po ako galing if you watch my vlog before Okay, and then next. Hello, from Julian. Uh, Julian Mariano, hello po. Baka naman po may ma-recommend kayo na pwede mapasukan as caregiver. 
Jan, actually, refer po kayo sa akin ng isa ding vlogger na si Sir Kid Bautista. Oh, hi, Julian Mariano. And to my friend, ka-vlogger, Kid Bautista. Sikat na siya ngayon. Oy. Um, anyway, Julian, um, kung meron man, why not po? Ma-recommend ko po kayo kung merong maghahanap po dito ng uh, caregiver. Basta pasok lang po kayo sa requirements ng caregiver. Pero sa ngayon po, wala pa po akong ma-recommend dahil wala pa naman pong naghahanap. Uh, meron pong naghanap last time sa from agency po yun pero meron na po akong na-recommend uh, and I am not sure din po kung um, kasi dadaan ka pa ng interview din po from employer so yung employer pa din po yung uh, masusunod kung sino yung gusto nila sa kasi sa dami nang nag-a-apply um, isa-isa hindi nila po yung mag-interview let's say nag-interview sila through Skype kagaya nung cousin ko before nag-Skype sila pero I don't know kung meron na bang um, let's say meron na bang balita doon sa employer na yon kasi nga marami nga din silang nag-apply right? so okay syempre hinahanap nila yung pinaka pinaka the best talaga ganun sila yung yung meron kang requirements na kagaya ng yung educational attainment mo nursing lalo na yung mga nursing graduate gusto nila yung mga ganun uh, and then um, what else yung experience mo yun yun ang pinaka the best talaga nilang hinahanap yung experience mo and then well, who else um Rachel Yamado okay lang po ba mag-apply kahit na caretaker caretaker course test na lang ang gamit na diploma kasi never ako nag high school po pero dito ako sa Taiwan now nag-work alaga ng matanda um hi Rachel Yamado um suggest ko lang sa like kuha ka lang ng kahit 72 units lang uh, in college para ma ano mo lang yung equivalent ng high school uh, graduate dito na education sa um, dito sa Canada kasi um, isa po yun sa mga requirements po nila yun. and then what else okay uh, Agnes Aguha Hi, nice vlog. My age limit ba? Caregiver pag-apply dyan. Madali lang ba makuha ng employer dyan? I'm here from Dubai. I take care. Caregiver here, 6 months. Thanks, respond. Okay. Hi, Miss Agnes Aguha. Um, wala pong uh, age limit ang caregiver po dito. Hindi po nakalagay doon sa requirements ng caregiver. Kung inyo pong titingnan sa, sa kanilang website, uh, sa um, canada.ca. Ano ba yung sinabi ko na CIC? No, canada.ca. <laughs> Sorry naman, canada.ca. And dyan yun sa screen. Baki ano nyo lang po, canada.ca. Uh, type nyo lang and then ayan sa browser nyo and lalabas yan canada.ca and then um, next oh, what else um, um, from DVOFW in Hong Kong tagal ko nang pinapangarap makarating dyan sa Canada kaya lang ang hirap namang mag-ipon ng pambayad sa agency yes, totoo po yun. mahirap talaga mag-ipon unless meron kayong mauutangan ay ako nga hanggang ngayon hindi pa ko bayad <laughs> kasi mag-iipon ka talaga right? so mahirap din pag nag-apply ka dito kasi malaki rin pera ang kagastusin nyo po kaya um, ano lang po <laughs> patience lang talaga at ipon-ipon din ng pera pag may time uh, who else um, hi po ma'am kung galing po ba ka ng Saudi home care paano po kayo makakahanap ng employer hi po uh, Maria Pe Patron um, hindi ko po sure kasi from Saudi po kayo wala din po akong alam ng mga agency from uh, Saudi so, ang alam ko lang, maraming agency, Hong Kong, number one yan. Maraming agency sa Hong Kong na papunta dito. Kaya kung gusto nyo pumunta dito, mag Hong Kong na lang po muna kayo. Or, kung di naman Hong Kong, Israel, meron din po yung mga agency papunta. Wala po akong alam na agency at never po akong mag, uh, uh, ano dito, na mag, um, magsasabi po ng agency. Kasi, hindi naman po ako 
vlogger lang po ako, pero hindi po ako nag, uh, ano, ng mga agency-agency, okay? And then, Cyprus din po, kung saan ako nang galing, meron din po doon mga agency or agents na um, nag help papunta dito. Who else? Let's see. From Sweet Grace Arindain. Hi po, nung nandyan na po kayo sa Canada at umalis po kayo sa first employer nyo, hindi po ba kayo umuwi ng Pinas before sa second employer nyo? Kasi po, may kilala ako, gusto niya umalis sa employer niya, kaso takot siya baka pauwiin siya sa Pilipinas. Oy, sino ba yung employer niya at hindi siya pwedeng maganyan dito? Natakotin niya yung kanyang caregiver bawal po yan dito sa Canada. Pwede po siyang tumawag, kagaya po ng ginawa ko. Dumiretso po ako ng tawag sa CIC. Nakalagay po dyan yung uh, contact number po ng CIC sa likod po ng ating mga work permit ng mga caregiver. Uh, tatawagan niyo po yun at magko-complain kayo sasabihin niyo kung ano yung complain niyo tungkol po doon sa inyong um, uh, sa inyong employer kagaya ko po as uh, nasabi ko po sa nakwento ko po dati hindi po ako umuwi ng Pinas um, actually very ano nga eh he's so mean yung employer ko before actually um, but anyway um, akala niya kasi bago lang ako dito so tanga-tangahan bobo bells you know hindi niya lang alam na <laughs> Siyempre may internet eh so nga ba naman binigay sa akin yung internet connection eh di nakapag-contact na sa mga ano-ano tapos nalaman na search search mo na kung ano yung mga kailangan mong i-search at saka hanapin at um, tawag nito yung tawagan so nung tinawagan ko yung CIC sabi naman sila mismo nagsabi na get out from that house go if you have somebody you know go there and then you can find another employer leave that employer because he's not um hindi po siya sumunod sa aming kontrata yun po yung naging problema so parang nag double job po ako doon um uh, i took care of the mother who is bedridden um from monday monday tuesday wednesday and then Thursday nila ako pinag uh, Thursday nila ako pinag um, o off and then Friday Saturday Sunday doon naman ako sa sa bahay ng kapatid which is merong dalawang bata and then yung isa is a special child so mm, buti sana kung yung sahod ay yung bang tugma doon sa ano, at saka hindi rin talaga kasi hindi sila sumunod sa kontrata which is ang usapan namin is mag-aalaga lang ako ng matanda. So, bawal po yan dito. Um, hindi niya po kailangan umuwi ng Pilipinas. Um, tawag lang po, tawag lang po sila sa CIC anytime um, from 8 to 8 to, I'm not sure the time but 8 to 4 or 8 to 5 something like that. Hindi po ako sigurado basta tawag lang po sila doon. Mer may meron at meron tutulong po sa inyo meron pa nga dito nung hindi nila pinigay din yung sahod ko meron din po tumulong sa akin na from the government nag claim ako na ibigay nila yung sahod ko wala silang magawa takot sila dito takot sila sa government dito pagka ganyan so yun, <laughs> ganun lang ganun lang yun, kailangan malakas ang loob mo yun, huwag kang magpaape kasi may mga tao talaga na opportunista, kala nila kung sino ka lang na, you know, na akala nila na kayang-kaya ka nila. And then, okay. Meron pa, sino pa? Si Amir Biloria, sabi niya, um, pwede po kaya yung nursing care assistant po na certificate na galing po Singapore? Um, I'm not sure, um, it's an edge. Actually, yung kung meron ka mga certificates um, from caregiver or nursing care assistants, it's an edge pag nag apply ka. Kasi pag nakita yun ng inyong amo, syempre yung maaan sila na oh ito ano pala to meron tong training magandang training so you know but is but still um yung requirements pa din ng caregiver is yung um 72 units or second year college na which is equivalent to the high school uh education dito sa caregiver dito sa Canada and then pa ba Ang dami pa, Tuan Okna, paano po mag-apply sa Canada? Dito po ako sa Malaysia, caregiver din po ako. Hi, um, Anne Okna, um, wala po akong alam na agency sa Malaysia, 
Pero kung gusto mo talaga makapunta dito, why not go to Hong Kong? And there, makakahanap ka talaga ng uh, sigurado. Sigurado ako sa Hong Kong, maraming agency doon na papunta dito. Tanong-tanong lang sa mga kabayan. Alam nila yan sa Hong Kong. So, saan pa ba? Mm. How, uh, from Riza Rosette. How about caregiver graduate po? Two years college graduate din po ako. Sure po, pwede po yan. Pasok po yun. Um, how much salary of caregiver now po? Sabi ni Clark at Clow. So, natakal ko na yan last time sa... Saan ba yun? Um, dito, sa, sa yung unang vlog ko talaga about caregiver. Um, yung sa akin kasi, as, uh, right now, um, for uh, ano ako, per hour is 15.72. Uh, Canadian dollar. Yun yung sa, akin, sa rate ko lang. And then, who else? Um, who else? Okay. To Mr. Migo, ganahan sad kaayo mi makaara ba? Pero perting lisura. Na kay masuggest? Oh. Na ajo ko masuggest. Okay lang na bisag lisud kaayo. Kaya ni mo. Na kaya ganin na kung anhe din he. Ikaw pa. <laughs> <laughs> ana lang na siya, more kuan lang ba kun pedant ka ayo no? <laughs> okay, bisaya po tag ginagmay no? <laughs> Who else? Um from Mahima Sharma to. Hi, I am quite confused with a new update on caregiver program. It will be really helpful if you can give me some advice on caregiver as I'm foreign at the moment if I go to Canada on tourist visa and find an employer there can i do it that way because many of the caregiver family want someone local and willing to sponsor but as i am not local no one is ready to offer so is it really possible by visitor visa and convert it to work permit okay um to mahima sharma oh well i am not an agency or i don't have any um like let's say like uh in, um paano ba hindi na tuloy ako hindi ko na alam nang sasabihin ko dito english kasi to <laughs> it's from ano yata to from uh let's i think from india so um well um if you come here as a visitor you can have a chance actually to find an employer but you got to make sure that you can find an employer who is willing to sponsor you and um will make a work permit for you but uh, make sure that uh your tourist visa is not yet expired uh so you need to have working permit before your tourist visa gets gets expired because if you don't have work permit and your tourist visa gets expired you need to go back to your country right so um plan it uh, wisely that's what can i and then you could if you have friends from here they know somebody who could sponsor you why not do it now like you know if they knew if they uh if they knew some or if you wanna and then you ask them then when you come here as a tourist um it's better to do it quickly because um well it's quick it's quick I think now to do the process because you don't have to I mean the employer don't have to apply the LMIA so I think so so but I'm not really sure about it just uh, um, just try you can do like you know if you really want to come here yeah, why not come here for to as a uh, come here with tourist visa and then try to find an employer if you could find and uh, tell him to sponsor you and make a work for me for you before your tourist visa gets expired yeah and then kasi pagka na expired yung visa mo diretso ka talaga uwi na ng Pilipinas hindi ka ano um, medyo mahigpit din dito pagka ano pagka <laughs> pagka hindi mo sinunod yung mga ano nila basta as long as hindi ka nanghuli syempre pero syempre sunod tayo dapat sa tamang proseso, right? Tamang proseso. Okay, so last question. 
San Capo sa Canada. Hi, Abigail Castro. I am from Toronto, Ontario. Yes, from Toronto po. Raptors po. <laughs> okay. And then number oh, who's this? There's another one. It's from Starly Abraham Abraham. Oh, English please. Kaya ako nusubli dito kasi daming nagaano ng English please daw. Okay. So, hi guys. I hope you enjoy and you, I give you all the answers that um, you asked. I don't know. I don't know what to say. It's so, if you have more questions, I don't know because there's a lot actually of questions but I, it's it's too much for my feet, you know. So, <laughs> uh, next time again. So, I hope na sagot ko yung mga tanong nyo. So if you still have more questions, just comment down below and don't forget to like and of course subscribe and share my video. Thank you guys. See you next vlog. Bye.